like techno beats and then they would try to rap to them and then if that didn't work out or sometimes it wouldn't work out we just the next day just start making music and so we've always been producing um for one another for years and then as of recently mm -hmm. like the past few years um you know dre he or leon um the lead singer he always wants to um, he always wanted to play guitar and be in a rock band and stuff. Okay. Um, but me, my past experience of being in bands and stuff, I was like, I can play drums. Pinky, who's the guitar player, lead guitarist, he's amazing at just being a guitarist, you know, right. and an all around producer, you know, like we're all producers. So it was just natural for him to be a guitarist because he was already, he's already in three or four bands already. Right. <laughs> when I was like 13 on Facebook and he was like, I give you $50 a week to come play at this church with me. I was like, okay, $50. I was 13, I was like, okay, I can get $50 a week when I'm 13. Let's see what I can do when I'm like 16. And then when I got like 16, I was like, I need like, I need at least like two, 200 on Sunday and then it was like nah I, think, I don't think we can do that but then I found somebody who was <laughs> and then I realized this is real out here this is a market I can do this well like, it's like I'm controlling my, my price you got the dope I got the dope sometimes you don't want to do that shit at all, like sometimes I don't want to go to gigs, sometimes I don't want to go to shows, sometimes you might be tired, sometimes you might have did a whole bunch of other shit already that day, but you know, part of it. I probably uh, feed more off of the energy of the band than anything in the music, the actual music or the idea behind the music or you know, the energy behind the music. And uh, the, the crowd definitely does help, you know. The, the energy of the crowd and you gain new fans every time and uh, it's gonna stay that way but it's cool having people you don't know just very excited for something they don't even know yet so that's fine how do y'all come up with with material what's that um, like man it's a it's a it's like a man it's really organic man it's like it's like a vegan thing <laughs> like <laughs> like <laughs> it's uh yeah it, it's organic it's vegan like it's it's real natural like we like somebody may bring something like Dre usually has like a a riff or you know something that he may work on and you know Pinky might add something to it I'll find a baseline that you know kind of works together with that and then um, it's, I don't know, man, like, whatever feels good, honestly, like, it's, it's really about feeling, like, whatever feels good, um, like, if we play something and we can't stop playing it, or we, you know, just keep vibing with something and we're jamming with it, and it just feels good, like, you know, or it just has that sound that we're looking for, and then we'll just keep working on it, and then from there we might, you know, add something already written, or we might write something to it, or... It, it just kind of it stems from that. Yeah, it just varies though. Yeah. There's not like one set. It doesn't sound like there's no, one it, one set direction. It's it, like it never it, it never it starts the same. Like it never starts the same. It never it's never planned either. Like that's the main thing. Like we we usually don't have you know sessions where we get together. We're like okay, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna create three more you know three more tracks for the band. Like no, nah, like we'll literally sit down and spend 20 minutes before we even practice our usual set like we'll come up with two separate totally different new vibes and then we'll end up playing them again whenever we come back and practice and then we'll end up recording them just to make sure we don't forget them because we do it so much so you know that's kind of the, okay kind of okay
numbers. He knows stuff. I know he knows stuff. <laughs> times you know I get nervous and what helps me get through performances is I, I find my favorite person in the crowd that's really just locked in rocking with me and that award today goes to him yeah. right there. Yeah. he's keeping me in it he is keeping me in it keeping me in it so last night, I was out with my girlfriend, you know, talking about life and the daily troubles or whatever. And she's like, you know, Dre, you can't try to fix everything. You can't save everyone, you know, and all this stuff. It's true. But I need her to understand it, for everyone to understand that. I'm not trying to fix everything or save everything, but love is, is the spark that can change everything. I know if I give a homeless person a dollar, I'm not gonna change his life. But my goal is to let him know that he's not alone. I don't wanna dehumanize him, you know? Because the love we show, you know, essentially could spark some change in someone. And I'm bringing up, you know, the conversation with my girlfriend because it was the love that she showed me, for me, that changed my perspective on a lot of things. It changed my perspective on humanity and mankind and it made me more comfortable with being the artist that I want to be and, and it was the spark that ignited the flame that I am right now. So no, she didn't make all the change for me, but that love led to the change. And that's why you help your brother. That's why you help anyone you can. You help your neighbor to let them know they're not alone. You give them that love and that spark that spark creates the change. I'm not trying to make the change for them. I'm trying to give them the love that it takes for them to make the change. Fuel the change. All right, so you guys right now are uh, working on the kids are watching. Yeah. Right, and I heard you guys are doing like a, like a is it a documentary or a docu series? So we have a documentary. Out documentary. There. Oh, it's out now. Okay. Yeah, it's out now. Yeah. So you can go on YouTube if you look up package mm -hmm. KG and look up the kids are watching. Uh, um, yeah, you'll find our documentary, and it's just basically us telling the the very the very start of us telling our, our story. Okay. You know, of Dre telling his story, or I keep saying that, Dre or Leon telling his uh -huh. story, the leader, the lead singer, and then Pinky and myself and Ace all telling our parts of our story. And then we hope to expand on it. That's, you know, while we, 
you just want to keep keep going with that. Okay, gotcha. So what did the title mean the kids are watching? Because you use it for a documentary, and that's going to be, you know, you guys' album title. What's what's the meaning behind that? It's kind of, it's kind of, it's almost self-explanatory. Like, the kids are watching. Like, if you think of it on surface level, mm -hmm. like, kids are sponges. Like right. The youth, we're all, they're always watching that. I'm sure as we were kids, you know. Yeah, yeah. We're always looking up to or seeing what's around us and stuff. So on a deeper level, it means more like, you know, the youth are our future so like right. what we're doing and what's being shown to them mm -hmm. all that matters so there is some consciousness behind it Absolutely. and yeah you guys music and that you put out and everything like that yeah oh yeah definitely so like the yeah for um yeah as far as like the lyrical content and mm -hmm. everything it's all it's all it all has meaning you know okay so it's all it's all something you can take in and listen to and then maybe years later actually understand the meaning to type thing. gotcha so. gotcha so how close are you guys to um finishing the album um, close, but not close enough. I'll say that.